Right now we are working on our Chapter 4 Grader uh, project, and this is for Access. We've already got the file open, so Step 1 is complete. Woohoo! Now we're ready to move on to Step 2. Open the Items Table in Design View. So we double-click on it to open it, and then we change the view to Design View. Change the ID field name to ID. D or item ID. So we go in front of it and we type item. Okay. Add a second field name called description. Description. And then it tells us short text is the data style or data type. Only it wants us to change the size from 255 to 50. So we make that adjustment. That finishes number two. Number three, enter the remaining field names in the table as number three lists them. So let's walk through those. First is date of donation, and I'm going to skip the data type for the moment and come back to those. Category, uh, price, donor name, donor address one, donor address two. Okay, now I'm going to change the data type of date of donation from short text to date time. And then I'm going to change the price field to currency. Okay. Uh, except says accept short text as the data type for the remaining fields. So we're good there. Now it wants me to open Excel. Okay and examine the length of the field so I can see that they're already adjusted to fit the information in them. Come back to Access, and I'm going to change the size of the field for, let's see, Category. So I click in the short text area, but then I come down to Field Size, and it wants it 15. Donor Address 1 is 25. And donor address 2 is 30. Then step 4 says it wants me to save the table. So save. I right click on the uh, table tab, name tab, and I click save. And I'm going to switch to data sheet view. Okay. That finishes number four. Number five, copy and paste all the records in the Excel file into the table. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to come into Excel. I'm going to select A2 through H27. I don't want the headers. I just want the, the body of the information. Right click and copy. So it should look like that. Then I'm going to come back into Access, and I'm going to click on the down arrow for Paste, and click Paste Append, and then it will paste those in. Okay. So it should look like that. Then it wants you to double, um, so you're going to adjust each one of the columns so that the information shows. See that little thin gray line between the, the different um, areas. So double click on it and it will automatically adjust to fit what's in that column. So just do that for each one. And we're set. Okay, so auto fit all of the column width so data is visible. Save and close the table. File save, file close. Okay. We finished with number five. Yay! So verify that the items table is selected and then create a new form. So click on create and click on form. Lost my place. Hang on just a second. Okay, using the form tool. So we click on that and then that shows up. Wants you to change the layout of the form to the tabular layout. Now this is the hardest part of the assignment. 
See that little box in the corner, that little plus sign? You want to click on that, and that selects all of the areas. Then Arrange and click Tabular. It's going to look horrible. It'll look like that. But that's what you want for right now. Then you're going to go into um, the item ID in the property sheet and change the width of the different columns or the different areas here um, as step 7 tells you. So we want the down arrow and we want item ID and then we're here where it says width we're going to change that to 0.75 and we want to do that as well for the category area width 0.75 and the price area, price 0.75. Okay. All the other ones get to be 1.3. So we have uh, date of donation, 1.3. We have description, 1.3. And donor name, 1.3. If you don't hit enter, it won't adjust the size. So do keep that in mind. You have to enter so that it accepts it. So 1.3, enter. Donor address 2, 1.3, enter. And you'll know you have everything because all of the items will be short and fit nicely. Okay, once you've got that done, it says change the title of the form to Items for Auction. So I'm going to scroll back to the left. See where it says Items right here? I'm going to double click on that so it becomes editable, and I'm going to call it Items for Auction. Okay. Then that finishes number seven. Add conditional formatting that uh, changes oh that um, so that each price that is greater than 90 has a font color of green okay so we click on price and we want let's see under format tab we want conditional formatting we're creating a new rule so if the field value is greater than and it said 90 we want to make sure we grab text and choose green. Okay, so new rule, fixed value is greater, 90 green. And that should look like that. And then you say OK. Apply and OK. Save the form as auction items form. So file save and auction items form. And OK. Switch to Form View and create a new record. Switch to Form View. And then you're going to come all the way down here to the bottom and you're going to go New, all the way off to the right, and that takes you into Record 27. And you're going to say, it'll automatically put in the ID, so you want to put in iPad as the description, the date 12-31-2018. Category is house. The amount is 400. And notice it turns green because it's more than 90. Staples is donor name. 500 Market Street. And Brick, oops, comma, and J, New Jersey. 08723. And that goes, that finishes number nine. Number 10. Add sort to the form so that the lowest priced items display first. So, see where it has the 400? Right click and sort smallest to largest. Okay, now we want to select the items table. We're in number 11 now. Select the items table in the navigation pane and create a report using Report Wizard. 
So we're going to click on Report Wizard. Include all fields except the donor address fields. Okay, so item ID, donor description, everything except those two. And then next, we're going to group by category. And then next, and we're not doing anything here. Instead, we're going into summary options, and we are going to um, include price. And we're just going to accept the default here, say OK, next, next, and we're going to title it auction items by category. Finish. And then it wants us to switch. Oh, we have to close print preview. And we have to switch to layout view. And we're going to resize this information so that it is visible. So first thing we do is we click on date of donation control. And we want to drag it so that it's underneath the D of the date of donation header or the column label. That way it's visible. And then we're going to adjust donor name a little bit smaller. And we're going to drag price so that it's visible. And then we're going to click on sum so that it aligns up underneath. There we go. And I think I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Nice. OK. Then it says uh, preview the report to verify column widths are correct. So we come back into view, and we're going to go print preview. And we're going to look at the report and make sure everything is visible. So we're good. OK. Finally, now oh, let's close print preview. It wants us to, well, that was number 12. Number 13, switch to layout view. So that's where we are back. And sort the report so that the least expensive item is displayed first in each group. So we just click on price and sort smallest to largest, and it will automatically do that by group. Save and close the report. Save and close. Our last project portion is to create mailing labels. So we're going to click on Create Labels. And we want 5660. And we already can see that it's Avery. So we're good. Next. We're going to accept the default font and color. And we're going to put in donor name, the first line, and then enter so that it goes to a new line, donor address 1, enter, donor address 2, so that we have three lines in our label. And we're going to say next, and it says what do we want to sort by? We want to sort by donor name. Name the report, so we're going to Go next, and we're going to name the report donor labels and finish. And then it wants us to look and make sure everything looks okay. And then, yeah, it does. And then we're going to close print preview and save the labels. Then we're going to close the label report. Close. That finishes the assignment, so you're ready to close the database, exit access, and submit the assignment for grading.